A buffet of weather, and the chef here is here to tell us mm -hmm. on the old set all about it. Something for everybody. Yeah. A little bit of this, a little smidge of this. Yes. That like my is, grandmother had how she used to cook. That is right. Hey, we are looking a little bit longer term. As we enter into February, mm -hmm. late next week, we are seeing indications that we've got another big cool down. Coming Why are you our both way? looking at me? No, I'm not. I'm, for just, I'm, just, sure. uh -huh. I'm, just, I'm just looking yeah. around. Okay. Looking around. He, he said we have a buffet, and I'm just. <laughs> yeah. I'm just I, I, How about those? I'm, apples, I'm not huh? throwing all the cards out there because we're eight days out from sure that happening. But at the same time, this is we the just, first I'm hearing. We of know. It. Oh. We know winter is still continuing. Right. Yeah. Speaking of winter, <laughs> it was a winter day in Amarillo. <laughs> Check this out. We had two to four inches of snow falling today in the Amarillo area. Yeah, they had their share of wintry precipitation. It's all pulled away now, but they are left with some pretty cold conditions and that snow is going to continue to remain on the ground there for them. All right, we take you to where the radar is showing the snow. Now it's moving into the Oklahoma City area at this point. This is where the rain sleet snow line is located and notice that it's right near Wichita Falls. They're seeing some rain and wintry mix in portions of the Abilene area as well. All of this is going to continue to move east and to the northeast. We'll keep an eye on this. I'm expecting a lot of this to stay north of the Red River, but a flurry or two it cannot be ruled out up near our I-30 counties. It definitely is very cold back to the west. 28 in Lubbock, Oklahoma City at 34. Officially Wichita Falls at 39. That means everything falling at that point is melting at this time, but temperatures will get close to the freezing mark there. Meanwhile, for us today, we enjoyed the sunshine. Cloud free conditions. The exception happening for us now is we're starting to see some high clouds beginning to move into the area. I think this is going to be our primary focus. The high clouds that pick up across the East Texas area, they'll thicken up to overnight tonight. You notice it now looking live from our Tyler tower camp west and to the northwest, certainly more so due west where we're seeing those clouds begin to increase. We had temperatures today right around the 50 degree mark for most of us had some lower 50s in deep east Texas, but now with a generally clear sky plus a light wind, the temperature is already starting to fall. That's why we have low 40s, 41 Mineola, 42 in Marshall, 48 in Hemphill, Palestine at a temperature of 46 degrees. I'll take you to future cast. We're going to keep an eye on that snow that's back to near the Texoma region. As it moves east, it's going to encounter more and more drier air. That's why a lot of this is probably going to fall apart, but the upper level moisture in the form of clouds will move in. Now this does not rule out a sprinkle or a flurry mainly across our northern counties, but because the air is so dry here, humidity values in the 20th percentile dew points in the teens, it's going to be really hard pressed to get anything significant to make its way to the ground. That's why we expect the clouds around overnight and to start the day tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, a mixture of clouds and sunshine, but then clouds increase more tomorrow evening going into Friday morning as our cold front moves through and the moisture with that remains very limited as well. So rain chances are going to remain quite low for Thursday night and Friday and we're back to sunshine on Friday, but it'll be a lot cooler as we end the work week. Tomorrow, slight hope for some warmer temperatures, lower to mid 50s in the afternoon, but look at the highs on Friday with that northwest wind bringing in that colder air, upper 40s to the lower 50s. The changes come this weekend. We're expecting more sunshine. We've got some really nice weather. It's a cold start though on Saturday morning. Morning, upper 20s and low 30s Sunday afternoon middle 60s for highs. Yes, that is going to be a big warm up next week. First of all, Monday, we've got more rain moving in. We need this rain. It does not look like it's anything severe on Monday, but there could be a few thunderstorms. Tuesday, we get close to 70. It's muggy. Wednesday, maybe a strong thunderstorm, but the bigger focus is colder air moving in behind that system. And if there's moisture left over with the cold, well, you know what that may spell. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Deep East Texas, we've got clouds to end the week, plus the cooler temperatures, but then warmer for the weekend. Next week, we enter into February. Yeah, you know, things are going to get a little rocky. We'll keep an eye on it. On behalf of Casey and myself, <laughs> thank you for that smorgasbord. Oh, there. yes, all right. All right. Coming up.